Right, once your hunters have got their third beast tamed, you can turn it in, and as promised, I am going to teach you how to set up your hotkey net file for not just five man power leveling, but um, 20 man power leveling. So here is um, a hockey net file. I blanked out all the passwords and account numbers um, so that you can really look at it. But the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create all your label shortcuts. And the label shortcut should consist of your tomb name followed by some hint as to what your account name is. Just so if you ever get logged out in that window, you can just look at the window bar to remind you, oh yeah, that's account such and such. Don't make it very identifiable but be, in case you want to do videos or something, but um, just have it up there. Just have it as part of the name. Now you use those long names, I'm going to call these long names and short names, right? Uh, or shortcuts. The shortcuts are used down below. The long names are used to log in your windows. These are window login sets. You see I have uh, Alt Control B, Alt Control W, Alt Control L, Alt Control V. Those letters all mean something to me. Alt Control B is Buy's raid. My my hunter's name is Buy, right? Alt Control W is uh, oh, Dead Mines raid. I don't know what it stands for. Alt Control L is the lobbies, all the lobbies, and Alt Control V is um, mages to pop vortexes you can travel through. Sometimes I stretch the abbreviations a bit. Anyway, <coughs> um, the important thing you need to know is each launch and rename line contains um, a computer. If, lo if, it, if this says local, that means you're only opening these up on your local computer. If it says an IP number, uh, that means you're opening up on another computer of that IP number. Um, then it contains your long name for your window, your long window name. Then it contains your account name, the YYY, your password, the XXX. And then it contains uh, something that a lot of you may not have figured out yet. Maybe you have uh, first the size of the window. This is 1280 by 1024. And then the position of the window. Uh, it is from the left, counted from the left from zero, counted from the top from zero. So position zero, zero is in the upper left side of your screen, all right? And these, I'll, I'll post this today. I'll post this example file today in, uh, in a release for all the lobby leveling stuff. And one of the things you're gonna get out of this example file is if you have a 4K monitor like me, you're going to get nicely positioned windows. Like this is a this is a good five set right here. You've got a big one in the middle. You've got four around the sides. I actually happen to have um, my power leveler in the bottom left, but um, uh, yeah, it's it's a good starting point. And then you'll get. Alt Control L, which is, if you have a 4K monitor, which is a great setup for 20 box power leveling, which you saw in the teaser video. That is how you pull the 20 boxes up with your power leveler on the lower left. Um, all of that, of course, is set up for 4K monitors. Divide every number in two, I suppose, roughly, for a 2K monitor, and um, it will probably work. It'll probably get close. You can do adjustments after that. Now, what else is in this file? Well, all those Windows shortcuts get used in things like Alt Control O. This closes every window. Um, anytime you want to close all your windows, it's just Alt Control O. Uh, scroll lock on zero. That is the party up key. Zero is a little special. All right. Zero sends zero to your focus window only the guy you're, you want to, to party up with, um, he also has to have no focus himself, by the way. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't work. So um, make sure he doesn't have a focus by hitting the Alt-4 alt key once in his window. Anyways, 
it sends all four to all windows. So um, alt four, one of the things alt four does is accept party. That's why I do it. So they accept party. Um, they'll also, you know, if you keep pressing zero, they'll they'll follow as you invite them because that's what all four does. It makes you focus and follow. All right, what else does this have? This has the basic um, shared key boilerplate. Don't mess with this. But all your shortcut windows should be in here. This also has the shared key movement keys. The only shared key movement keys we have in in five minute multiboxing are the arrow keys on your keyboard that moves everybody equally. Those arrow keys move everybody. Finally, we have the broadcast mouse click section. This section, you don't need to edit it, but this broadcasts mouse clicks, left button, right button, button four, button five. You can add more buttons to it if you want. Um, but that, whenever you hold the tilde key down or whatever the OEM3 key is on your computer, if you're a foreigner, um, and you click the mouse, it'll click all windows at the same time. All right, what else do we got? Well, we have definitions for tricky keys, combo keys. All combo keys need to be defined. So Alt-1, Control-1, Control-2. Well, Control-1, Control-2, and Control-3 aren't defined for a very good reason because I don't want them to be shared. They all do something in individual windows that you don't want everybody doing. Um, uh, that's explained in another, another video. Or it, you can read the uh, control notes on my uh, subreddit, uh, Vanilla Multiboxing, r slash Vanilla Multiboxing. All right. Um, so all the control keys are defined as just send to all windows. There are some tricky control keys that you should know about. <coughs> Um, Alt-1 is tricky. Uh, Alt-1 actually sends um, uh, Alt-1 is not defined here right. Alt-1 is supposed to send. Um, focus, send F10 to the focus window and it is not defined right here. So I'm going to change it. So notice how key Alt-4, Alt-4 is very special, right? But Alt-1 is the same kind of special, so it needs to be done in exactly the same way. So, oh, no, I do do it. I just missed it. Here it is. So Alt-1 sends to the focus window F10, which means focus me, sends everybody in your raid to focus me, and then um, it sends to the rest of the windows, since all windows actually, it, the key Alt-1, which um, does several things in game. Look it up on the control list. It, you can see what Alt-1 does. Mainly it's used for, Alt-1 is used for follow me, don't, I mean focus me, don't follow me. That's what Alt-1 does. Focus me, don't follow me. Alt-4 is focus me and follow me. Okay? And by me I mean wherever you have your mouse. So Wherever you have your mouse, that's the boss. I've got my mouse in that window, and now everybody's following him after I hit Alt-4 a couple of times. I've got my mouse in this window, hit Alt-4 a couple of times, now everybody's following him, and everybody's going to focus his target. Down here, hit mouse a couple of times, now everybody's following him, and everybody's going to focus his target. That is the most uh, innovative thing that 5-Minute Multiboxing does. No other multiboxers do this. Uh, when you are using 5-Minute Multiboxing, you get that for free, and... It is, it is amazing power to be flexible when things are going wrong in your raid. Um, or, you know, when you're getting ganked with PvP, whatever, I don't know. Um, you, can, you can quickly switch to uh, another guy who's not dying and run away with everybody. Um, there's a lot you can do with uh, that innovation of 5-Minute Multiboxing, which nobody else has and nobody else does, as far as I know. And if they have it or do it, they stole it from me. I'm patenting it. So that's it. That is how you set up your um, hotkey net file for low level boxing. And now my guys finally have their pets and they're headed off to their level 10 class quests in Darnassus. We have the long walk ahead of us.